ever had to search through a long document or a piece of text to find a specific word or phrase, it can be a pretty tedious task, right? Well, regular expressions in Python can help make that task a lot easier. Hello everyone and welcome to this video on regular expressions in Python. Regular expressions can be used to search for specific patterns in text rather than just a single word or phrase. For example, you could use a regular expression to find all instances of phone numbers in a long list of contact information or to find all the dates in a document. Today we are going to talk all about regular expressions in Python and once you get the hang of it, regular expressions can be a really powerful tool for working with text in Python. With that being said, let us take a look at the agenda for this video. First we will talk about what is regular expression in Python, then we will look at the basic syntax, then we are going to talk about why is regular expression used, then we will move on to the hands on part and with that we will conclude. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates from us. So we'll first begin by understanding what is regular expression in Python. A regular expression is a pattern that describes a set of strings. It consists of a sequence of characters including letters, digits and special characters which define the pattern to match. Regular expressions are used for searching, matching and manipulating text data. In Python, the RE module provides support for regular expressions. The module defines several functions and methods that can be used to work with regular expressions. Now we'll look at the basic syntax. So starting with import RE, this imports the Python RE module which provides support for regular expressions. In the next line, pattern defines the regular expression pattern to search for in the text. The pattern can be a string of characters and meta characters that define the pattern to match. Moving on to text, this defines the text to search for the pattern. The text can be any string of characters. Next is match. This searches the text for the first occurrence of the pattern and returns a match object if a match is found. And if no match is found, it returns none. Moving on to if match, this checks if a match was found. And if a match was found, the condition is true and the code inside the statement will be executed. Otherwise, the code inside the else statement is executed. Moving on to the print function, this prints the match string if a match was found. The group method returns the match string. Finally, the else condition. This is the code block that is executed if no match is found. So now let's move on to why is regular expression used. We use regular expressions in programming to work with text data in a flexible and powerful way. Regular expressions allow us to search for and manipulate text based on patterns of characters and meta characters. Here are some reasons why regular expressions are useful. First is text search and manipulation. Regular expressions allow us to search for specific patterns of text within a larger text string. We can use regular expressions to replace or modify specific parts of the text string based on the pattern we define. Second is data validation. Regular expressions are useful for validating user input in web forms or other input fields. We can use regular expressions to ensure that the user input matches a certain pattern or format such as a valid email address or phone number. Next is text extraction. Regular expressions can be used to extract specific parts of a text string such as email addresses, phone numbers or URLs. This can be useful for data mining or web scraping. Fourth on the list is parsing text files. Regular expressions can be used to parse structured data from plain text files such as log files or configuration files. We can use regular expressions to extract specific data fields or filter out unwanted data. Finally, pattern matching. Regular expressions allow us to match patterns of characters and meta characters in a flexible and powerful way. This can be used in many programming applications such as natural language processing or machine learning. Now let's move on to the hands-on part. So let's begin with the hands-on part. For that you can use any compiler or IDE of your choice. Here I'm going to use an online compiler. So you can begin by typing in Python compiler on your browser and opening any compiler of your choice. So let us take an example. Matching a specific character. Suppose we want to match the character A in a string, we can use the regular expression pattern A to match the character. Let's see how to do it. So for that, we are going to import the RE library and then we are going to assign values to text. Let us call it apple. Then we are going to take another variable called pattern and assign it the value A which we are supposed to find. And using match, we are going to use the function re search. 
and enter the pattern and text. So to implement it, we use the if condition. Where if match, then we're going to print out match found. And then what we do is match dot group function. And taking the else condition, we're going to print out simply match not found. Now we're going to run this and see what happens. So as you can see, it is returned match found A, which means this character A is present in this string. All right, now let us look at another example. So in example two, we're going to be matching a range of characters. Suppose we want to match any vowel character in a string. We can use the regular expression pattern A E I O U to match any one of the vowels. So let's do that by importing RE. And then similarly, we're going to define text, call it apple, and then pattern. And now we're going to give a specific set of string. All right, let's call it A E I O U since we are searching for vowels. Now we're going to match using re search function and putting in your pattern and text. Now coming on to the if condition, if match, then we're going to print out match found along with the match group function to return the match that has been found. And then we're going to print out our else statement which simply says match not found and now we're going to run it and see. So running it again, it is showing us that the match found is A. So we're doing it right so far. Let us take a look at another example. In this example, we'll be returning the start and end indices of a particular substring in a string. So to do that, we're going to initially import RE. And then we're going to define a variable s and let's say give it an input string. Welcome to IntelliPath's YouTube channel. Alright, now we're going to match it using re search and the substring we want to find out from this big chunk of string and input both R and S. And now we're going to start printing out the start and end index. So let's call this start index. And we're going to do match.start. And we're going to print out the end index. Let's call it match.end using the start and end functions. And now we're just going to run our code and see what happens. So as you can see, it is given out the start and end indices of YouTube's occurrence in this particular string. So I hope regular expression was easy to follow. Let's move on to the conclusion. So in summary, regular expressions are a powerful tool for working with text data in programming. They allow us to search for and manipulate text based on patterns of characters and meta characters and can be used for a whole wide range of applications such as text search, manipulation, data validation, text extraction, passing text files and pattern matching. Regular expressions are widely used in programming languages including Python and are an essential skill for any developer working with text data. Learning how to use regular expressions effectively can significantly improve the efficiency and flexibility of your programming projects. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to make a career in data science, then IntelliPath has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.